The Korean government says it will react if Japan waters down a historical apology for the sexual enslavement of Korean women. Japan is expected to announce its review this week. Kim Min Ji reports. The Korean government will take action if Japan announces a review denying a historic apology regarding the forceful mobilization of Korean women as sex slaves. A government official on Sunday expressed Korea's stance on the matter, saying that it will present authoritative documents, both domestic and foreign, that will prove Japan responsible and the historic truth about the wartime sexual slavery issue if Japan alters or denies parts of the Kono statement. The 1993 Kono Statement, named after Yohei Kono, the chief cabinet secretary at the time, acknowledges that the Japanese army was involved in recruiting women to serve in frontline brothels. Seoul's reaction comes after a Japanese media reports that the Abe administration will submit its review to the national diet soon. The Japanese government has set up a panel to review the events leading to the historical apology. The Korean official added that the Kono statement was drawn up after an independent investigation by the Japanese government based on on-site inquiries, official documents and testimonies from the victims of sexual slavery. Korea has long pressed Japan to address the grievances of victims of Japan's wartime sex slavery by offering a formal apology and providing them with compensation. Japan has refused to do so, saying the issue was resolved by a 1965 treaty. Time is running out for the 54 surviving Korean victims, whose average age is 88. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.